I should have plenty of space, but we're just gonna. Boom. Okay, okay. You guys ready? Yeah, yeah. Yay! How do we always start? One, two, three. Hey, hey, everybody. Today, <laughs> we have a little piggy. <laughs> Today, we have some big news. Mom, what are these? What are these keys for? The keys to a brand new trailer. Yeah. No, the keys to the fart realm. <laughs> the fart realm? The keys to the fart realm. I would rather not to go there. Well, uh, I can tell you with confidence we will not, not be entering the fart realm today. <laughs> no However, <laughs> we will be entering our brand new trailer. No, we will be entering the fart realm. Should we guys give them a tour of our new trailer? Of course, maybe. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> okay, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, before we go back there, you gotta tell them about how big this sucker is. It's this, huge. This thing is like 10 miles long. It's, it's well, not it's quite. It's a foot smaller than our own house. That's real. Yeah, it is. But All right. See, and that's not even in, including the sides out. <laughs> that is our behemoth. Look at that sucker. <laughs> it's so big. Compared to the house. Look at how but big that thing also, is. Also, today we got... <laughs> Should we go inside, guys? Thank you. Ooh. Thanks, babe. Good job with the puppers. Oh my gosh, just standing next to this, you guys, it's so big. Oh, we left the stand out. No big deal. Is it locked? Ah! Yeah, mama. Flip flop. Flip flop down. Flip flop down. Good job saving your brother, Porter. Thank you, in there this cupboard over here actually has hookups for a small washer and dryer combo so at some point we are gonna purchase a washer and dryer to go in there as well this is a king size bed it's on a slide so that we have a little bit extra space in our room there are like USB things in the wall right there where we can charge our phones and stuff straight into the RV which is pretty cool let me take you back we saw 
up the stairs we saw the kids bedroom up there I in their loft we've got a second door right here unfortunately we parked the rv too close to the house to be able to put these stairs out so they do have to stay in while we're parked here but normally this hallway has a lot more space when we're able to get these stairs out they just have to stay here for now so they don't mess up the siding on the house that we no longer own i'm going to show you the kitchen first off here's the dining area these are just independent chairs which is pretty cool and the table extends out so it can be just that little bit longer if we need that extra space we do also have there's counter space right here so that we've got stools so that a couple people can sit there at the counter as well this kitchen setup is actually pretty much the same as the kitchen we have now it's just a little bit smaller and it's not even that much smaller to be completely honest with you the dining area is a lot smaller but the kitchen itself is pretty similar we've got a lot of counter space with this um i don't even know what this is called it's not an island because it's connected still but this um counter space over here is big and tons of area there's additional counter space here just like normal you can put the little covers over your kitchen sink and you've got extra counter space there a full-size microwave oven and then we've got this stove is actually i don't know how well you can see that but this stove is actually larger than most rv units not as big as a normal kitchen stove um i mean if you want to for reference here's the size of the rack so it's definitely smaller than a normal stove Thank but it's definitely bigger than a normal rv as well which is really nice we've got tons of storage space these huge cabinets yes. that if you look at this these cabinets go all the way back so they're really deep they're so high i'm literally gonna need a step stool in here hey there's another hey! cabinet hey! porter porter calm there's so much cabinet hey, space up, up here. here okay there's more cabinet space here we're gonna have to find like additional shelving or something so we can make the best use of this space as possible but there's so much space for dishes and cooking needs and food and there's so much we've got four different drawers here that are all really good sized drawers as well this is a normal full-size like house fridge um it does have the double door which is a little bit different like obviously it's a different setup and it locks in a little bit more um so that it doesn't come flying open while you're driving but it's a big fridge and for a family of six that was definitely important to us storage wise we also have this big hatch which is really nice this is where we're going to keep like school supplies are going to go in here um, we'll probably like board games and that kind of stuff will go in here. Maybe we'll keep shoes in the bottom so that they kind of stay out of the way and the whole place isn't a disaster area. I don't know yet, to be honest with you. There's so much, there's so much to figure out still. And here's our control panel. We do have a ceiling fan, which is really, really nice to have. The dining area is a slide. And then up in the living room area, we actually have two more slides. So this RV has a total of four slides. Um, we also have, this is a feature I love. Check that out. That, my friends, vacuum. is a vacuum. That's a central vac. You can flip it on so they can hear it. Oh, 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 it's too loud. <laughs> and up here in the living room area, we can show you. The kids want to show you so bad. Look at that fireplace right there. That Hang on, let's stick back. this. We're going to stick you on the hutch. And we can Watch see the whole this. thing as the craziness ensues. Look, look, look. Oh, look. Mama! The fireplace oh, changes okay. colors. Yep. Oh, it's a oh. bum bum. Bum bum. Bum bum. So, mighty TV. This is the almighty TV, as Drake calls it. <laughs> this has the control panel right here. It's got a DVD player, it's got a Bluetooth radio. So if we want to connect our phones to that and play music throughout the entire coach or outside, we can do that through this little control panel, which is pretty great. This was a big selling point for us, is this big, huge window. So that when we're not watching TV, we've got so much natural light in this coach that we wouldn't have otherwise. It's incredible. I love this setup. But when we are watching a movie, if it's midday, it is a 
get blackout curtain. All and then of we them put the TV blackouts. up, and now we don't have that blinding light right behind the TV, which is all really of them nice. are blackout curtains. They are all blackouts, yes. This couch and this couch are both jackknife couches. That means they turn into beds. I love that it's so big and so open, and while it is a tiny house for six people, um, it, it doesn't feel quite so tiny, and there's a lot of space that we can really, truly live in still. It feels that big. It feels big, huh? When it's small. When it's small. It is much smaller than the house we live in now. So we chose this rig specifically for a lot of reasons. Um, number one, the setup obviously is super conducive to family time together. I love that we still have a living room. The fireplace is amazing. This kitchen is fantastic. I'm cooking for six people. So I needed to make sure that I still had a good size fridge and that I have space like counter space and stuff in my living or in my, in my kitchen area. I really wanted us to be able to eat together still too. Most rigs only have a four seating dining area and this one does too however it does have the little extension on the table and it also has the two seats at the counter so while we won't be exactly at the same seat we can all be in the same place as we're eating so it can still feel a lot like a family meal which is really important to us we do family dinners almost every night we have a sit down at the table family dinner and I didn't want to lose that as we moved into this um, the other reasons, this one, we paid a little more for it, but it has better insulation than most rigs do. That is important because it'll keep the heat in or it'll keep the cool in better than other rigs. It's set up for four season living. We live in Utah, so we do go from really, really hot summers all the way to snow everywhere, really, really cold winters. And we wanted to make sure that we had something that could handle all of that. The other reason is sometimes at work, Chris has to work graves. And we wanted to make sure that we had something that will really keep the sound out for him so that he'll still be able to get that rest that he needs during the day. So we tested, we sound tested all of them. The RV dealership that we went to was right by the freeway. So it was actually really helpful to be able to close all the doors and the windows and see how much of the freeway noise can we still hear. And that helped us to determine which RV was gonna be right for our family. The other thing is it's already totally set up for solar panels. If we decide to get solar panels later on, all we have to do is put them on the roof, bolt them in, and plug it in because everything is already wired. So getting solar panels is going to be a lot cheaper later on for us than it would be if we had an older rig or a different style rig that didn't already have all the wiring within the walls for us. So there was a lot that went into this decision for us as far as which one we were going to choose and this decision to um, kind of get off the beaten path and live outside the box was a big decision for us and, and came with a lot of stress and frustration and uncertainty. Today is our first full day with it here at the house. Uh, we're finally at the point where we can start figuring things out and getting settled in and um, make this our new home. And we gotta do it fast because we have 11 days to be out of the big house. But I'm really excited for this new adventure and this new opportunity. And I don't know how long we're going to live in this. I don't know if we're going to travel in it or if we're going to park it and stay put forever. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the future holds. And before this whole adventure and all of the crap with Chris's work, that was a terrifying idea to me to not know what the future holds. And at this point... I'm actually really excited for that. I'm really excited to just trust God and trust our journey and, and to move forward in a really beautiful way. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button because I'm going to take you guys along. Woo! Making it shake. Earthquake. Uh, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and come along with us. We'll show you this whole crazy adventure and what does it look like to live as minimalists with four kids and two crazy dogs and, and live in an RV. Thanks for coming along on our tour, guys. Have a fantastic day, everybody. The Outer Mama signing out in my brand new, insanely cool fifth wheel. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.